What's up guys, Michal from Tech Test Tutorials and in today's video we are going to take a closer look at Blue Nessie microphone. We will check the build quality, we are going to perform some decent sound check in multiple scenarios and most of all we are going to answer the question is it a good mic? So stay tuned! Starting with the design the mic looks awesome. It's really very stylish. It looks a bit old school and it's got the name after the Loch Ness Monster, so Nessie. And it really looks like the monster is going out of the lake. Love, absolutely love the design. Now some basic features. We've got built-in pop filter to prevent those p popping sounds. Uh, not as great as a separate filter, although works decent. We've got custom tuned cardioid condenser capsule with internal shock mount uh, also to prevent if you will bump a little bit in the, de in the desk and the mic is standing on the desk, that's something that sh this should prevent. Works uh, also decent. Now we've got something that they call serpentine adjustable head and it's actually the way that you are able to adjust the head toward your face or instrument you are playing works decent, it's effective, although sometimes, uh, especially when I was recording instrument well, I felt it could be kinda nice to be able to install uh, this mic on a, some other stand not an option, however, this double as, my, as a stand for, for my headphones Unintended feature, I guess, uh, works great for me and that's the way I also use this mic. Now the dimensions. Uh, in a stand home position, if we imagine ourselves the stand as a square, it's 3.75 uh, inches uh, x 3.75 inches and it's 10 inches high. Uh, the weight is 1.4 uh, pounds. Now I said that I love the design of this mic but not the build uh, quality. Take a look what happened during I was shooting this review. That was not actually the big problem. You could easily attach this mesh, uh, just slide it in and it's okay. But that's something what happened and I thought, well, I should show you this. Not the best build quality probably. Now this mic uh, actually features free recording modes and adaptive studio processing on board. Well, uh, these are actually some filters that are applied while are you recording the audio and uh, so you don't have to be worried about post-processing or uh, that kind of stuff. Now I will demonstrate this, uh, how this works. Now we are in the music mode and that is designed uh, to record musical instrument with that. I will demonstrate this with a guitar so you could see how this works. Now let's turn the second mode and this is the mode that I am using almost all the time for uh, voiceovers, uh, for my videos. You could say this is Morgan Freeman mode. So it gives you a little bit more bass, uh, it makes your voiceover sound better. And the third mode, uh, actually I switched to this right now, and this is just a raw mode. So that's probably how I normally sound, uh, no post-processing. If you would like to apply some filters in a post-production, this setting is actually for you. Now, most of the time when I am recording voiceovers, the mic is standing like two inches away from me and this is a perfect uh, situation for recording voiceovers. But sometimes you really would like to place the microphone a little bit farther. Uh, so let's uh, see how it works when it's like, let's say, two feet uh, away from you. So now without changing uh, the microphone gain, the mic is like uh, shown on this video right now, it's like two feet away. Uh, so this is, uh, you might say, a gaming or FaceTime position. This is how this sounds when it's a little bit further. Now this mic uh, features also a rubberized fit that's uh, supposed to prevent this mic from moving around the desk while are you manipulating uh, 
with this knob and this knob actually is used to control the volume of the headphones because this mic's got a built-in uh, headphone amp for uh, zero latency monitoring so when you are uh, recording with this mic you are able to plug in headphones and to hear what you are recording great features like in radio just plug in the headphones and you are able to hear uh, exactly what's been recorded with this mic great feature use it i use it all the time now below this knob it's actually led uh, indicator that shows whether the mic is muted uh, or it's ready for recording. When I saw this feature in somebody else's review, I thought, well, great, I will always know whether this mic is ready for recording or it's muted. But now it's when I use this mic, it started to irritate me because when the lights are dim uh, and something is breathing beside you, that's not... Uh, the greatest thing. I haven't found uh, the, an option in a driver to turn this LED off so I just unplug the cable when I'm not using this mic. For somebody this might be irritating like for me some someone else will think well that's cool that's actually depends on you so that's it basically. But this mic is also advertised as a mic for a musician so let's uh, do some small uh, guitar recording and let's take a look how this performs. Now I really hope that you will leave a comment down in the comment section below and you will tell me what uh, what do you think about the quality of the recording done with this microphone. I have to tell you I love uh, the way how this mic performs, the quality of audio in my opinion is awesome. Uh, this mic delivers exactly what's been advertised, so worry-free recording. So you just have to connect this mic, uh, apply the filter, connect uh, headphones and you are good to go. Of course, if you are going to record some musical instrument more often, the lack of ability to install this on the microphone stand might be an issue for you. I'm recording the guitar just occasionally, so that was not a problem for me. Guys, I really hope that you are going to smash this like button, because this is the small reward that I get for uh, all the effort to create this video. I really hope that I have helped you. And if you would like to see some more of more uh, content in the future, definitely hit that subscribe button. Thanks again and see you next time.